Hello, and welcome to Nutrinet, the world's most advanced information management system for fertilization planning. This video will take you through 10 simple stages on the way to creating your first fertilization program with us. Let's get started. First, let's register so the system will recognize you and save the programs you create. Now, press on Create New Program. In this demonstration, we'll use the metric system. We've reached the program building screen. This is where the magic happens. In the first stage, you should choose a name for it, something unique, so that you can easily return to it in the future. Great, so much for the creative part. Let's move to the next field by pressing on Next Step. We'll select the starting date for the program so that the system can accompany us throughout the growing stages. Next Step. Now, we'll create our plot. By the way, if anything's not clear, you can always place the mouse cursor on the question mark to receive a brief explanation. Clicking on Create New in step number three opens a window that allows to insert plot location, cropping system, and soil type. Here we select the size of the plot and the soil type. The selected soil type will be used to adjust crop requirements. Remember, choosing the point on the map doesn't replace the need to name the plot by its actual location. Now, let's choose what you want to grow. You can also add additional crops that aren't in our database. But for now, let's simply select pepper. Great, another five simple steps and you'll have a perfect fertilization plan. The next field deals with the attributes of your fertilizer injection system or nutrigation system. Let's create a new system. Let's add another tank to keep the phosphorus and calcium separate. The default is phosphorus in tank A, which means that you need to select calcium for tank B. We'll enter the injection rate and give the system a name. Next, we're really on the home stretch. Let's enter the expected yield. In step number seven, we select the fertilization method. Next step, fertilizers type. Here, you can choose between simple fertilizers and polyfeed. The ninth step is relevant only to quantitative programs. The final step is also for advanced users. You can insert the water report at this step or leave the water report empty and come back to it later. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Your smart fertilization program is ready. Detailed tables are divided into stages. The first table shows the specific elemental requirements. The second table shows the elements to be introduced during each growing stage and also includes the fertilizer strip. And a simple, precise diagram shows which fertilizer goes into which tank and when, just like farmers love. Now, all we have to do is add personal comments for the grower and choose whether to send the plan directly to their email or to first save it on your own computer. Good luck! Nutrinet, putting the world of smart fertilization planning at your fingertips.